Alright then, so let's go for the triple here. The big turkey, if it were... I don't know whether that's golf or bowling, but... Okay. Sigma 3, and like the Sigma 2, I don't remember this stage very well at all. I remembered Sigma 1 more than those. Let's just let this hit him. Okay. There's turrets up there. Actually, I should probably just charge up the super pink shot. That got me hit anyway, though. I can stand on this. Ow. Okay, that's still tight. Hello, boss fight. Already. I wonder if there's gonna be a checkpoint, like, after every single boss, or... Alright. The stage is, uh... Oh, not square. Let's see. Does this do anything useful? And... Oh, my cat's getting in the way. Go away. <laughs> it's just going around in circles, like, wee. Mikey. Yeah, at times when I actually want you to come over, you don't. But... Mikey, go away. <laughs> Stop it. Oh. Alright, so what weapons did I not have before? It was definitely this one. You can block this, so it's probably not any sort of weakness. That only does one damage, so it's probably not a weakness either. It can't be fire. Well, actually, that does do stuff pretty well. It's just that it runs out so quickly. This also gives me a bunch of free hits, just like before. Actually, this is starting to resemble my old vanilla strap for this guy a lot more. Oops! <laughs> I was so close! One shot left. Oh, I think I know what's happening. He's blocking the initial shot. Ow, that was dumb. But then the uh, reflected shots are hitting him, sort of like what my e spark was doing. I also have to remember the fire thing because that was helping. Fire thing isn't useful for a lot of things because it's so short range, it runs out asininely fast. It's just like. It's hard to find a use for a weapon when it. Is when it can't hit stuff and also runs out in half a second. Alright, this time... Okay, I know it's coming, so I'll just jump over. Alright, now let's go for the ice shot and hope that I can chain hit him like I was doing earlier. So far, so good. Alright, that's it. Now it's E-Spark. Ow. Alright. So yeah, that worked out pretty nicely. And now, fire for the finish. <laughs> Just burn him, roast him in his own metal can. Too bad metal conducts heat as well as electricity, because things that conduct electricity also conduct heat, so it doesn't work very well as a shield against, you know. Okay, what? Oh no. This is not good. Well, I could use an ice platform to get to the other side, except I don't have any. Nope, I tried to do the jump thing, but it didn't work. Oh, what? Minor guys here? That's just evil. These guys respawn and they're... Oh. This bat makes it impossible for me to use my torpedoes. Do I respawn after the boss? Yes, I do. Okay. That's nicer then.
Alright, now I do that a little bit more intelligently, but it still didn't work because I still fell off. Yeah, that's tight, but doable, so... Possible is good enough for me at this point. Hey, <laughs> douche. This is gonna get me hit a lot of times, I think. What would be a good thought? A good homing tor torpedo in death. That's a lot of homing torpedoes, though. So I may not have been the best option. Free HP, though. That's always nice. All the way ready into another boss room. Uh, is this play Mammoth? No, it's so. My favorite boss ever! I have this weird spot for the door, though. This boss arena is wonky, like, uh... This boss arena reminds me of, uh, Boomer Quanger's first time around, in that it seems a little off somehow. Can I hit him with the homing torpedoes when he's invisible? Nope, they don't even see him. He's too invisible even for those things. Because this is way easier than the first time around, uh, the way it's set up right now, so, which is why I get the feeling that something's wrong. Staying close to this guy's probably a bad idea, so it's probably not a good one. Because this is just, unlike my first time around, this is just a gigantic open arena that I have tons of play in. Why am I using this? Which is why I get the feeling something's messed up. I mean, I could have patched it wrong, but... But if I patched it wrong, then I would have expected it to blow up in my face a long time ago. Oh, he's going too far low. Oh wow, that's that hugs the wall too much for me to use it. Uh, I'm almost experimenting too much with the weapons here. Oh wow, that's quite effective against him. I wish I had that the first time around. But it would have required going to an insane stage before a novice stage, so I don't see myself doing that. But there are a lot of benefits to going to Boomer Kwanger stage early. You know, instead of putting so much emphasis on dodging those bats, maybe it would be smarter to do that. Yeah, because this knocks him straight off the wall, which helps a lot. But before I waste my ammo for that, might as well get my free triple shot in. It's weird how the second door on the opposite side isn't even, like, blocking anything if it's the same as the side on the left. Well, it is, because there would be a wall beyond that. Alright, let's hit him with the blade cutter. Knock him off. Unfortunately, when I knock him off from that, he seems to just do the same thing again. I'll save that for the spike move, because that's the worst of it. But yeah, it's just so weird that the stage would be so much harder the first time around. Unless my copy is just strange for some reason. Don't want to waste that. Uh, shotgun ice. Nope, I didn't have enough time. Cycle back to the X-Buster. Uh, I'll just... yeah. Just let that one go, because it... Alright, if I can just get him with a couple more super shots. Or, you know, he's close to death, let's just blade him. There we go. Much easier than the first time around, but I'm still not 100% sure that I fought him as he was intended to be fought. I don't know. Something just strikes me as off about this battle arena, like the way this floor is here. Maybe I'm overthinking it, though. Oh, hey. Well, the thing about ammo that is in the walls like that, the only thing I can get it with is, in fact, the uh, metal blades. Unfortunately, I can't get that because it's on the... Oh, shoot. No! I didn't mean to go into another boss room so quickly. Uh, 
This is Spark Mandrill. And I have less shotgun ice than I just did. Yeah. No, he hit me into the boss arena. That's not what I wanted. Alright, Spark Mandrill, get ready to be shotgun ice to the face. Well, uh, that worked. Just wait till he raises his arms, and then shoot him. Sometimes it doesn't work, but that's good enough for me. Now just, uh, R-shield him in the face. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure that anything here would be super useful. I could try burning him with fire W. Yeah, maybe that's not the best option. I should probably just try and stun him with the, uh, Mega Buster instead. Nope, no, that's not a very good tactic. I can't get this that HP power up. On second thought, though, why was I working so hard to get in the first place? Uh, as long as I just shotgun ice my way into the place, or ceasing my way into the place, I'll do it at full HP. Well, I mean, that was, uh... I would've died there, even if there was no boss in the room. Like, but... Dang it, that's a waste. Dang it, that's a huge waste as well. Uh, that didn't affect him like it normally does. Rats, gotta get that timing down a little better. The smaller arena means those shots clear more distance. Actually, they also seem just wonkier in general. Probably not a good place to do that. It's kinda weird how I can pause just about anywhere in this game. Alright. Goodbye almost all of your HP. That was a waste. The fact that I fell back into the doorway there actually helped me. Well, uh... Say goodbye to your life, Spark Mandrill. For the last time. Unless it does turn out that there's actually not a checkpoint beyond this boss fight. For whatever reason, that would be a total break from pattern. Oh man, I, I wonder which boss is coming up next. I just can't figure it out. Maybe it's like, uh, Armored Armadillo. Oh wait, I already fought that one. I, I just don't know who else it could be, though. Uh, wow, that didn't work out. Yeah, checkpoint as expected. Oh yeah, right. There's some sort of fish hovering that I was doing before in the other... Well, I guess I'd better hope that I get that, which I sure didn't. Man, uh... <laughs> maybe... Let's try shotgun ice, see if it's a little bit floaty. Be thanks to the water physics. It'll provide me with a little bit of extra distance anyway. Huh, well, that works. It, uh, not sure how well it works, but... No, could've saved me, fish. You could've saved me. 
So hopefully once I'm off this thing, I can switch to Storm Tornado in midair, fry this guy. Now I don't need to panic, so I can hopefully kill this guy a little bit more easily. Next jump is fairly simple in comparison to the other ones, especially when the fish uh, helps me out a little. There we go, boss fight time. Uh-oh, Watch Octopus was pretty tricky before, and I had almost all the weapons, so I don't know how this is going to go. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I had everything except Bee Cutter, but that was clearly the weakness of something else. Eh, just enough to make it out. I, mean, I didn't have the charge shots for my weapons, but... Nope, nope. Don't take my HP. Yeah. Wasn't expecting to make it through there. Yeah. Kinda losing control of my movements here. Unfortunately, since I'm so much higher, I can't snipe him when I'm in the room. Uh, so let's try C-Sting now. No, I have no idea why that would be effective. Against an octopus. Well, I somehow made it out of that one, though. the worst where, but... Darn it, I was hoping he'd jump, but he didn't. No, I'm standing right next to him! Can't <laughs> get out of the way! I don't know, can I make this jump? And I was just doing it badly before. See, this is really hard. <laughs> if I can. Dang, you fish. At least those guys don't do much damage with their actual attacks. Just let the button go for the moment and... I'm saying that I missed, but uh, here it's him missing, that's the issue. And die. Oh, that's not a good place for him to be, as far as I'm concerned. Missed. time I jumped down as he was jumping up, so we kind of traded places. No, no, no. Don't do that, I'm so close. That should help me bring me a little closer. Almost got this. Now he brings up the uh, arsenal. Just there we go. In your face, launch octopus. Take that. <laughs> All right, four HP, but that was good enough. I was uh, when I was halfway done the fight, I was like, you know, I'm gonna use an E tank here if I if I'm about to die. But uh, by the end of the fight, I was like, you know, I got this without the E tank. Oh, more of these things. Well, it makes these jumps a lot easier to have invincibility, so I'm gonna see sting it up. Even though, oh wow, that did not worth work worth a crud. <laughs> What's up here? Oh, that's a ceiling. Where do I go? 
Do I have to stand on those guys? Okay. That will be nasty. <laughs> yeah! It's not even something you think about, the fact that these guys are a platform. Similar to those cars at the beginning of the game. But actually, since I'm standing on them... Okay, now is the time where I want to bring up the sea sting. Unless if our shield would do that. Let's try our shield first. Oh, well, I can't use it all while standing on those guys, or else it'll just disappear. It'll be like, oh man, I touched an enemy. You were trying to hit that enemy, but our shield doesn't work on it. So yeah, let's do sea sting then. Yep, uh, so much easier with Sea Sting. <laughs> that would have been nasty. Okay, Flame Mammoth, and I have a really small platform here. That is pretty evil. As I recall, none of the weapons really work so well on you, did they? Oh, wait. Spark e Spark did. Oh, wait. The platform goes f farther over. Okay, I was thinking, like, how am I supposed to dodge stuff on this tiny little platform here? Well, I am not doing s super good at fighting him here. And I wonder... Oh, yes, okay, good. I saw beforehand. I had a feeling that it was going to be changing that the platforms and conveyor belts between spikes and conveyors, but... Uh... I'm glad he did that just as I was dying, so that I can use my death to my advantage. Instead of just having it be useless, you know? Am I seeing things, or there, is there one more barrier than there was last time? Okay, your muck didn't work. The middle of the stage is safe now. I'm not sure whether it's better or worse, to be honest. Gotta stay on the walls as much as possible because. Alright, what else was actually decently effective? Was it our shield? Nope, that's not what I'd call decently effective. I should totally forget this guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Those spikes at the top. Oh, well. Leg! Rats, he had 1 HP left. Oh, well. I know when he has 1 HP left, and I'm gonna get him again pretty quickly. But almost nothing is enough when I don't have much health. Uh. What? Where'd the other guy go? What a ripoff. Rats. <laughs> Just kept ramming that fire. <laughs> I really should have had it that time, but... Started playing badly. Ah, whoops. Oh, that sure happened. I wish I could control which direction the metal blades went. wanted to charge something, but... Hey, that's interesting. How'd I charge it while I was going through the door? That's not how that's supposed to work, as far as I can recall. Dang it, I meant to jump there. No! Oh, I was so close. I would have had it that time for sure. Ah, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I got overzealous with my jumping. Can't make it that far. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to... Unless I can get that glitch from earlier to happen again, I can't really charge that up in time. Thanks to that one extra stray shot. Ugh, darn it. Not sure why I charged that up, but jump over here. Jump 
back here. Ow, I hit the ground. It's just jumping around like a maniac. Dang it. Well, I'm out of that too. It doesn't seem like I'm gonna make it this time. Die. Alright. I made it after all. That pink shot made up the difference, really. Because I had the time to charge it while I was on the wall anyway, so. Alright. Better make it at least some distance. Those checkpoints aren't in the boss room for obvious reasons. Alright, the checkpoint's gotta be there. Unless you're making me fight two bosses in a row this time around. Uh, oh, this guy. This guy was kinda tricky before. Okay. Please be a checkpoint, crossing my fingers. Yep. As expected, but a loop there would have been very nasty. It's unlike the Mavericks, it's unlike this guy is gonna have a weakness, so. It's just whatever strategically works. Oh, wow. I totally forget how this boss fight works, as you can probably guess. This got caught in his electric field. Doesn't even need to really be a full charge necessarily. No. Oh, hitting the tank from the side doesn't make a difference. Oh no. I cannot stand between the floor and it, and the, standing between the ceiling and it is kind of crazy. I suck it at all. Yeah, that is re that is really hard to dodge. How do I dodge that? Yeah, even if I stand that wall. And uh, I don't have time to fully charge a sea sting in the middle of a boss fight. How do I dodge that? Alright, so now I release it. It does damage relatively quickly. Okay, I got close that time. I'm at least working it out. movements are very, very erratic. Yeah, because right there, he... All three parts of him just kind of uh, came the length of the screen. How was I supposed to get by? Oh, tank crushed me. It just feels like my main blaster is going to be the most versatile thing here. I can use the uh, quick shots and long shots. For some reason, he didn't go after me there, so... You know what? I've got an idea. Let's use an E-Tank. Uh, how do I use the E-Tank again? Like that. Oh, it doesn't fill up a whole lot, and it does it. I can use another one, don't want those other two to go to waste. No! Oh, that, that sucked. See, that's why I didn't use the E-Tanks ever before, because... Because now they're all gone, and there's no way I can refill them. It does... The good news is, like, even the green shot seems to be doing two damage. Uh... What happened? <laughs> the game froze. Thinking I have the rewind button. I am, uh... Just gonna keep going with this fight. I don't feel like I technically lost, per se. <laughs> Just kind of randomly got stuck. I'm not sure if that's an emulator, emulator bug or if this is something that can actually legitimately happen sometimes. Because otherwise I'd probably have had to do the whole stage again. Oh, dang it. Uh, there's no way to dodge it when he does that. I... There's nowhere to stand. 
the second. Yeah, like right there, it seems. And I hit the spikes. And it some dodge. Yeah, it didn't matter what I did. Somehow I managed to dodge it like that. Blade Cutter also gets me extra hits. There we go. Much better. And in my normal fashion, I somehow managed to, after struggling with something for a while, I suddenly get it and end up with the over half my HP left, because for some reason that happens sometimes. Alright, that's the end of Sigma 3. All Sigmas are complete. It's just time for the final boss. Oh man, the... This was uh, pretty difficult in vanilla even, so I'm expecting this to be pretty brutal here. Anyway, I suppose I'll just check my death counter real quick. And... 507. So between Sigma 2 and Sigma 3, that's about 100 deaths. Alright, see you next time.